Far-right propagandist Tucker Carlson released a multi-part series on the January 6th insurrection titled Patriot Purge, and this is an InfoWars-like documentary that is unapologetically unhinged. So I'm not going to talk that much about this documentary, but I think you can put two and two together. It's Tucker Carlson, and he's trying to do revisionist history about a piece of history that we all just witnessed just this last year. Now, PolitiFact's Bill McCarthy does a write-up on the documentary, and he fact-checks some of the most absurd claims made by Tucker Carlson. And here are some of the claims that Tucker Carlson made. So he claims that the government constructed a narrative about the event specifically to strip Trump supporters of their constitutional rights. He downplays the role of far-right militia groups. He blames the left, because of course. And he also speculates about whether or not it was a false flag. I mean, it's blatant propaganda, but apparently it was a bridge too far for some individuals that work at Fox News because apparently the months of misinformation about COVID-19 vaccines and the Great Replacement Theory, that wasn't too much. But this is where they're finally drawing the line. All right, better late than never. But, uh, you know, for me, I would have been really upset years ago with Tucker Carlson. But again, credit where it's due. So two Fox News contributors actually quit over this with one saying that this was the last straw. Now, the two contributors that quit, Stephen Hayes and Jonah Goldberg, these were regulars on Brett Baer's show. Now, what's interesting is that other folks at Fox News, like Brett Baer, they too were mad that Tucker Carlson released this and they actually complained to management at Fox News. So as Colby Hall of Mediaite explains, Fox News host Brian Kilmeade on his radio show questioned his colleague Brett Baer on whether he has an issue with Tucker Carlson's controversial series, Patriot Purge. The question from Kilmeade followed the resignations of two Fox News contributors, Jonah Goldberg and Stephen Hayes, who have long been regular contributors to Baer's show Special Report. They both said Carlson's Patriot Purge series about January 6th was the last straw. A subsequent report said that Baer and Chris Wallace had objected to Fox News executives about the conspiracy-laden series from the primetime host. NPR's David Falkenflick reported the terrific scoop. Veterans figures on Fox News' side, including political anchors Brett Baer and Chris Wallace, shared their objections with Fox News Media CEO Suzanne Scott and its president of news, Jay Wallace. Those objections rose to Lachlan Murdoch, the chairman and CEO of the network's parent company, Fox Corporation. Through a senior spokeswoman, Scott and Wallace declined comment. Murdoch did not return a request for comment through a spokesman. Now, I just want to pause before we get to Bear's response to Kilmeade's question. I mean, let's just put this into perspective. He was so mad and concerned with this so-called documentary that Tucker Carlson released that he spoke with the higher-ups at Fox News. You don't do that if you're just irritated by something that someone is putting out. You do that if you have grave concerns about the content that is being produced, not just because it's misinformation, but because it reflects poorly on you as a host on a network that is putting out this type of misinformation that gives InfoWars a run for its money. So, of course, when Bear was asked about this by Kilmeade, he's going to explain how, look, this is bad, and I unequivocally condemn Tucker Carlson. This should not be aired on Fox News. Fox News needs to do better. And as an employee of Fox News, I want to speak up, and I want us to do news, and I want us to push facts, not misinformation. Except he's not going to do that. He is going to back down like the little beta male cuck that he is. Bayer commented on his friends Hayes and Goldberg and their decision to depart Fox News in protest. Quote, I think it was a tough choice, but one that they made on principle. He offered before adding, you know, and I'm going to let them speak for themselves. Bayer then reaffirmed his interest in hearing all kinds of voices, left, right, Trump, whoever, supporters, before admitting the departures of Hayes and Goldberg were sad for special report in Fox News, but they made their choice some principles, so let their statement stand. Kilmeade noted that he had watched the Fox Nation series Patriot Purge, which he found to offer an interesting perspective about January 6th that he hadn't seen before. I didn't get hurt by it. I didn't get damaged by it. Were you bothered by it? Because that's the reporting. A pregnant silence followed that very pointed question that pushed Bear to address an alliance to Hayes and Goldberg or the host of the show at 8 p.m., Tucker Carlson. Quote, there's a, Brian, I don't want to go down this road. Bear answered perhaps with the slightest sense of annoyance towards Kilmeade. You know, I mean, there were concerns about it, definitely. He continued adding, I think that the news division did what we do when we cover the story. I want to do all of that internally, Bear explained before concluding, Steve and Jonah made the decision, and it's their decision. 
In other words, I have lots of issues with this, but I'm not bold enough or courageous enough to express my issues with what is a blatant piece of propaganda and misinformation. What a fucking coward. And look, he's not alone. Tucker Carlson is also a coward because as much as he lambasts vaccine mandates, he refuses to actually address the mandate that Fox News has instituted. So understand that all of these people on Fox News, every single pundit, these are not news people. These are actors for the most part, willing to bite their tongue to continue getting a paycheck. It's just, I mean, on one hand, I don't want to be too hard on Bayer because it's good that he complained to management about Tucker Carlson, but they're not going to... I don't know, punish him or penalize him in any way because he brings in the ratings. So if you truly want to stop Tucker Carlson's damage, then there needs to be pushback. Use what little uh, influence you have on Fox News to push back. Respond to him on your program. But everyone on Fox News is a coward because, I mean, the goal isn't to provide viewers with information. The goal is to peddle a right-wing misinformation narrative overall and even if people like brett bear aren't as bad as tucker carlson he still does bad like it's still all right-wing propaganda so i don't know uh you know how big of a story this will become but certainly tucker carlson may have inadvertently catalyzed a civil war within fox news and that's good you want to see these ghouls fight each other you want to see them tear each other uh, each other down but overall, none of them are going to do anything that will impact their bottom line. So Brett Baer will only speak out to the extent that it doesn't actually affect his ability to peddle his own propaganda on Fox News. So, uh, I mean, either way, Tucker Carlson is bad, but I, I just can't help but feel a little bit irritated with everyone who's only now speaking out about Tucker Carlson because he's given you so many examples as to why he's not just a bad propagandist, not bad in terms of like, he's not effective. I think he is effective, but what he produces is genuinely damaging to American democracy and he's only gotten worse. So I'm glad that there is a line that some people are drawing, but the line was crossed months ago and to only now think that he's, you know, a uh, problematic. I mean, great, better late than never. I'll put that out there, right? Better late than never. But for fuck's sake, I mean, he was peddling the Great Replacement Theory. The fact that there weren't mass uh, walkouts at Fox News at that point goes to show you that many people who work here are cowards. And they were refusing to speak up because they prioritized their own paychecks over, you know, harming the country. And that's unfortunate, but that's the reality of America. I'm going to come. Come, come. Do not come. 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 Come, 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 come.